Okay, so I need to upgrade one of the machines, and I really like the Asus Republic of Gaming. And so we are going with Republic of Gaming Sticks. Um, this is going to be the unboxing for it, and then after I get it and get rolling for a while, I'll let you know what I think of, of the machine itself. So I've already cut the, the tape, the security tape down here, because, well, why not? Um, it's hard to do all this on your own. It's a Windows 10 unit. Um, you got your normal stuff going on. I warned you about this. This is the, uh, for those who want to know, the GL is, it, the serial number is the GL702. Uh, and let's make sure you can, if you can focus in on that. I'll help out. It's uh, the 17.3 LCD. Uh, slim WM. You can look up the specs, but what's important is you want to see the, the unboxing. Over here is where you're going to see all of your important specs. So if you pick up from the store, make sure you got it. Now let's go for the unboxing. All right. And here we go. Open it up. Nice presentation. Got a uh, little bit of bag over here. Okay, so we got a cord. There's some documentation, but really easy to get to. Um, let's see, we got uh, a very nice cloth on the outside. I guess you could keep using it or recycle it, which I really like to see that. I always like to see that they have recycled markings. That's uh, important to me. Here's the unit itself. Um, nice, glossy exterior. Their classic emblem, orange, as you can see from Republic Gaming. Um, the venting in the back is supposedly improved. Um, and so you've got some venting here that's really nice. Your intakes are here. And then this would be your access port. And then the, as you can see it, um, let me make sure my cam is right. You can see there's some, um, some kind of nice little line features and the uh, very distinct orange feet, which are uh, a little bit more pronounced in the back, kind of like that, and a little more, um, a little bit more subtle in the front. All right, so if we open this up, there, again, there's uh, the, uh, the sheet between the two, so the screen looks great. Again, the markings I like to see for, um, for letting you know what can be recycled and cannot. Oh, that's beautiful right there. That's, that's, that's just gorgeous. Let's see what else is in the uh, in the box. Because this is not a demo. It's a... It's a unboxing. Okay, so we got compartments. Um, okay, power brick. The 120 as always. And let's go ahead and pull that out. And... There appears to be, well, maybe that, that might just very, very well be it. Okay, so there we go. Really simple stuff. Some instructions, some cords, and you're ready to roll. I thought the battery would be separate, but it's not. So I guess we're going to take it to the next step. So anyways, that's the unboxing. Again, I like the logo here. This is all pretty easy to pull out. And I think the whole box is easy to break down for either... Um, recycling or keep it in place for storage very thin and I will let you guys know um, how easy it was to transfer from a Windows 10 machine to another Windows 10 machine and how much um, this is enjoyed uh, sadly this one is not for me but uh, I am kinda jealous now it is really thin by contrast there's there's my rig right there it is really thin I do like how everything's laid out nicely on the side um, ooh, kind of a, a catch for the RJ45. There's your HDMI. It does have a USB-C in it, which is kind of cool right there. Um, and then these are just all set nicely, and there's, there's your port. Um, and then on the back, like I said, this looks very, very, very thin. Um, very easy to take with you, where often I had to go find a special backpack to carry my my 17 inch rig with me as you can see right there um anyways any questions let me know and uh hopefully i'll be able to tell you what i think of it later on bye